Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay centered right here. As for the world, it can spin around as it likes, but you don't have to spin around with it. How does the world spin? Well, there's gain and there's loss. Status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things spin around in the world. And people run after them, start spinning around too, and spinning around so much that they begin to lose sense of north and south, east and west. In other words, their sense of right and wrong gets all screwed up. Hoping, hoping for the good side, and then inevitably running into the bad side as well. So we have to pull ourselves out of that spinning. That's why we get the mind in a state of what the Buddha calls the heightened mind. In other words, you lift it up above the world. You realize that the baits of the world, the things of the world that would pull you in, are not really worth all that much. And the mind has many better things inside itself, many better qualities that actually provide a lot more happiness. If you spin around with the world, it's, it's not an innocent spinning. It's like the spinning of gears in a machine. If you're not careful, if your article of clothing gets stuck in the gears, it pulls you in, pulls you in, you're going to have to let it go if you're going to be safe. Otherwise, you get mashed by the gears. So in the same way, you can't let yourself hold on to gain and status and praise and pleasure. You have to see these things coming and going and use them for a better purpose, use them for the sake of the mind. For example, when gain comes, what can you do to be generous with it, to develop the quality of generosity in your mind? When status comes, what can you do with your power to benefit yourself and benefit other people? So that when the status goes, you still got something good. The same with praise, the same with pleasure. These things have their uses. But all too often we just try to hold on to them, and holding on to them, and then we misuse them. And so when they're gone, we're worse off than we were before. So try to hold on to the quality of mind which lifts itself above the spinning of the world. And that way you can be safe. And when the world does spin, you can get advantages out of both sides. Even loss and loss of status have their good signs, which you wouldn't appreciate unless you lift the mind above them. So that's what we do. We heighten the mind, lift it up above its ordinary state. That way we can live in the world without being mashed to pieces by the world. <laughs>